Hey guys, I am Davey Wavy and today I am joined by Ray Dexter and Dylan Diaz and we are in our 20s, 30s, and 40s. And today we're going to talk about how gay dating changes over the gay decades. Let's get started. How has dating changed over the years? I haven't dated very much. I have only ever had one real boyfriend. There's like a lot of articles out there. It's like, oh, like 20 something millennials are starting to like have less sex, date less. Or... Because your fucking nose is always buried in your phone. <laughs> if you wanna go out there and have dates, put that damn thing away. <laughs> when I was your age, I could date guys that were in the closet. Now I'm willing to put up with less. I, I guess I kind of know what I want. And if someone isn't that, I'm like, great, like live your life, but not not for me. What's a date nowadays? I don't oh know what a date God. is anymore. I mean, for me, a date used to be remember. finding a guy that I thought was cute, inviting him out, or him inviting me out, and we'd go to dinner or a movie, or we would Sounds do something. Sounds like a date, yeah. I don't know if I've been <laughs> in one of those in years. <laughs> How are you most likely to find a date? I mean, now, on an app. I miss like just being able to like strike up a conversation at the supermarket or at the gym or on the subway. Now it's like you see a guy and you oh is he is, is he, he on grinder? He grinder? <laughs> He's on grinder. Let me talk. Because <laughs> I, I just can't, I can't talk to him. I mean definitely the apps nowadays. But when I, when I met my ex, we actually met at work and like I made the first move on him. Oh I my god, it was in real life. It was in real life. It was a real life interaction. But I mean, so <laughs> the forties on the app, you in real life. So since I don't drink. And like going to a bar is not my cup of tea, so I just use apps. It's gonna be Grinder or Tinder or something like that. I aspire <laughs> to have those like real life encounters, but there's also an efficiency to doing it online. Like I can't walk into a bar and be like, who is into fifth thing? <laughs> hey guys, Davey Wavy here, and no, this is not an ad spot. I actually have something free for you to enjoy. As many of you know, I created an erotic website called Himeros.tv, and we recently released a film called Every Cut is a Lie featuring Nate Grimes and Nico Nova, and it is a super hot film that is done in a single take from beginning to end. There are no cuts, hence the name Every Cut is a Lie, and it is the most honest thing that we've ever filmed. The cinematography is done by an Oscar-winning cinematographer, and it is unlike anything you've ever seen in porn. So I really want you guys to check it out. All you need to do is sign up for my E! News down below if you are over the age of 18. I'll put the link right down there in the video description. Happy spanking, and let's get back to the video. Who would make the first move, you or your date? Generally, the guys that I date tend to be younger than me. I almost feel like they defer to me, like it's to make the first move. Definitely me as well. My first move is super innocent. Like this might be my first move. Uh -huh. <laughs> like my, our two our legs touching might be my fir our first move. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're very, very, very subtle. I feel it. I though. like that. Yeah. It's the first time I've been touched <laughs> in two months. <laughs> I think it's like 50-50 for me. I think I have to like read the person first that I'm going on a date with because I'm like, if I'm not getting the vibes, I won't make the first move. I'm like, all right, I'll wait for you to make the first move. Making the first move requires putting yourself out there a little bit. Yeah, it Because it could be unreciprocated or like, they'd be like, actually, I'm It not, does, I'm it takes a lot of confidence. But when you're 37 and that clock is ticking, you're like, <laughs> yeah. you picked up by your date or meet your date there. Or option D, I would Uber them. <laughs> <laughs> or fly them since I'm in college right here. That's when you know you're a, a daddy. I would prefer to be picked up because I'm a princess. I hate driving. I hate doing the work. I want my prince charming to just, you know, arrive at my house and scoop me up. It's always been that way usually, and I enjoy it. Uh, what kind of self-care prep work would you do before a date? There's like, you know, the basics, which is basically, you know, showering, brushing your hair, brushing your teeth. And then if you're expecting to have sex, douching. I don't really do much to get ready. Same. I, just, <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> you're doing the full spackle. <laughs> you're doing full spackle. Yeah. You um, roll out of bed. Yeah, I roll out of a nap and I'm like, oh shit, it's 7.30. I gotta be ready by eight. Seven, they're eight. <laughs> That's another difference too. I am not going on a date at 8 p.m. <laughs> that's um, late. That's really late, isn't it? It's so late. Yeah. That's not that yeah. late. <laughs> no, I want to have a lot of time on my date. So let's start at like five, six. Oh, I've, I've started dates at like 11 p.m. before. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> 
<laughs> it sounds like a booty wow. call at that point, but I was like, no, we go on a date, we go to the bars, we sit there till two in the morning, and then we go back and fuck or something. I do want to go on dates, but also like the, the effort, the effort <laughs> like creates an inertia where I'm just like, oh, it's, 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 never mind. It's too much. Do you date multiple people or one at a time? Do you date any people? Like multiple people. <laughs> Multiple? I, I can't even find one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with, uh, do I date any people at a time right now? No. It's funny though, when it rains it pours, sometimes when you have one option, like another option will present itself, but I can't focus on more than one at a time. Just yeah. one. Where would you go on a date? My ideal date, what I like to do, is invite a guy over and cook dinner for him. For me, cooking is like you're putting your energy into the food. Mm -hmm. Like I cook with love, I cook things that are really yummy, mm -hmm. I'll make dessert. And to me, that's like a very intimate way to get to know someone. And um, it's also nice that I don't yeah. leave my house. <laughs> so. This didn't work out, so I almost don't want to talk about it, but I'll talk about it because it was sweet. We lived in the same complex and we met on an app and then we decided to get together and we knew this could be a disaster because we live in the same complex. Yeah. But anyway, we went to a coffee shop in our neighborhood. But then from the coffee shop, I needed to get something at the container store. So that's the idea? The coffee shop and the container okay, store, and then my sofa. Okay. I like to go to like a nice bar. Or... Oh. What was that? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you say that out loud? <laughs> How do you get to know someone at a bar? It's like loud music, oh. and like you're screaming at each other. Not like a dance bar, but like a, like a cocktail bar. Like... That sounds like hell. <laughs> Sounds like well, a well, twenty year old. Yeah. Like, <laughs> who would initiate communication after a first date? You or your date? I would say me, because usually I have like to follow up, and I'm always I'm like a hopeless romantic. It depends if it's a good date or a bad date, but yeah. I think generally it is the other person. I think younger people have like this immediate need for like for follow up, yeah. and like they won't tell you on the date that they really like you. They'll wait till they go home, right. and then they'll message you right. and be like, I really had fun tonight, like I hope I can see you again. they like, bitch, like, say it to my face. Right. <laughs> but also, bitch, stop dating people that are 15 years younger than you. It's definitely me, and it's often before they've even made it back to the car. <laughs> like, you as they're walking. Like, yeah, seriously. <laughs> There's a Harry and David's basket waiting at their door when they get home. Wait, <laughs> right, where can people get more of you? Hey, y'all can find me on Twitter, OnlyFans, and Just for Fans. It's all the same handle at RayDexterXXX. And you can find me on Instagram at the Ray Dexter. And for me, you can find me on Twitter and Just for Fans at Dylan Diaz11. And then on Instagram, it's the other way around, Diaz Dylan11. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, more to come.